side. Commit to long hold, long hold their own flank eventually. As long as your commitment's good and your lines are held, your individuals can pull across the line, but that is for the second half. For now, it is going to be G2 on the attack. We get an initial duel won by Hunter. He actually brings the fight to the CTs on long. Electronic, furious, comes back in for denial of info. Four on four. Yeah, long's called clear now, and all the attention can draw to short. They should be able to get this bomb down, but Electronic pops off Nico's head and wants more. Mitch onto Kenny. Great shots from Simple. His first contribution, and it looks like it will just require one more. Tiny pixel peaks just the heads. There's three of them suppressing him. He's done very well to survive this long, to be honest. There we have it. Solid lockdown. It looked good for a moment. First blood was drawn for G2, but they just couldn't build upon it. Electronic taking that duel back. And that was important. As soon as they could call long clear and make sure nobody was over towards that blue bin, there was no pressure coming, could turn their attention towards A. And when you're in limbo as the tease, if you're caught transitioning from bridge towards quad on the site, you're going to get caught in no man's land. And those USPs will strike. G2 opting for a conservative approach in round number two. It will just be one flash for Nico, a P250 for the likes of Hunter and everybody else just down to those Glocks. Looks like they want to get the AK-47s out in the next round. And this is a very standard approach. Flash to the mid doors from Nico and away they go. And Flamey, appropriately, throws down an incendiary. Oh, okay. So they, do. They, they're out of there. They don't want anything to do with me. <laughs> Cancel. Well, they managed to pull $600 out of Flamey. Now they want to pull a $600 out of Electronic. I don't think he's going to be willing. Oh, they're ready for the run boost. Simple's yep. watching that. He's actually pre aimed <laughs> the run boost. That does slow Jax down. Then the frags do come Ooh. in. They nearly get him. Simple so low. He runs off to CT to save. Doesn't want to be losing and forced to rebuy any of that nonsense. None of that funny business. The precision's not quite there. He's already caught a lot of flack on his first engagement, so... Oh, that is the precision I was hoping to see. Puts Electronic on his bottom. Another yeah. chance. Yeah. RV2, G2, nil. All right, well, they even get the Famous there, so... So far, though, Na'Vi have lost, I think that's two deaths? Yeah, that's it. And one through one every round. All right, well... Boomich operating with that MP9. You're going to see a lot of that here within this series. Boomich will always be uh, the man to rock the MP9. Same with Perfecto as well. Those two operating on low buys or SMGs and making it work, making them sing a very potent a little pocket rifle. Well, SMG. As we get back underway with the gun rounds. Now, we need to see what G2 are opting in for. Looks like a long pounce. They might yeah. put out this molly and go. There it is. Sting. Boomich on blue bin. This often goes unchecked because of the fear for so many angles. He gets him down. Um. Look Bomb delivered and G2 faced with a very dire task to start us off. Navi coming in hot. Never want to write out Nico though. He's got Kenny S in tow and they've acknowledged that the bomb will not be retrieved initially. They're going to go on a bit of an adventure here. Nico taking matters into his own hands and trying to isolate Jewel here. Flame is so likely to swing onto this trade. Nico will check close right. That's his intention. This could work. Finds him, looking for the swing. Flamey reveals himself, and Nico does manage to get it. Oh, does he want to close the gap? Flamey throwing in nades. Simple. He knows the fight's going to be coming his way. Oh, Ooh. clean. Go on, Nico. He's got a third as well. This suddenly becomes winnable. A two versus four, Nico. This is his map. This is his domain. And this is his team, G2, trying to make a statement here. Electronic, do you give him the bomb at 38 seconds? He may as well, right? Because if he has to play through the long doors to pick this up, he can't go B. The indication and the finish will have to be on A. So Electronic doesn't have to play the bomb. And with a second smoke, he's almost secured this one. He's actually going to lock back in towards that blue bin position. Oh, man. This just feels unwinnable for Nico. What's his strat? Gray screen. Electronic finishes off and breaks the dreams of G2. Valiant attempt from Nico. It's the first time we've seen some deaths thrown the way of CT, so it'll keep them a bit honest. Yeah, good damage there, but all in all, that fell very flat. It felt like that long attack from G2 was a little bit late to the party, and I know the plan was to extinguish the molly and go, but the pieces of their puzzle weren't in the right positions. It didn't feel like they were set up, the indication and the call was there, but uh, the intent was not. As the scoreline now 3-0, and G2 need to get activated early. They're opting in with one of these partial investments. Conservative buy. We were talking through the terms in the car. It's so janky to call these eyes for the T side these days as Kenny has been able to find himself a bit of an entry with the Deagle, of course. Naturally. I'm surprised he's not rocking with the Scout.
feels threatening. <laughs> Does a little bit. This nade, though. If he throws it right now, right in the middle of the pack, that's huge. Look at all that damage. Ouch. Softened up. Electronic now. He's melted them like butter. Now he just needs to spread them out here on the A site. One. Lovely shot. That was one of the healthy ones, too. Hunter's gone on the flash. This is team play. Great team play from G2. They cower. Oh. They get the bomb down, and every shot hits. It's down to Flamian Perfecto. Jack's a crucial survival from him. He's been hunted down. A quick trade. A no scope, no less, from Nico. He's already got two, and they do wrap it up. What a way to turn the round around. Stolen. Absolutely stolen right there. You'd think with that HE landing in the pack, all five copping damage, they should just be able to mop they them up. They didn't peek. It's actually interesting that just hiding from electronics seemed to be the rest. Great shot. Oh, damn, didn't see that the first time around. But just by surviving on that, they, I think they threw three flashes onto the site. Electronic, you can see him look down, peek, look down, peek. By the time those flashes were uh, elapsed, their bomb was down, and then the headshot started coming in for G2. And they've already broken the money here. So off the back of just a partial investment, they've and been Nico's able to damage, force them yeah. into a force buy. So Navi going all in and back towards long. This is trouble. Oh, that was not the spray. That was not the one that's for long. Cancel. Bad smoke. AK stolen. Electronic wants to do damage. He's got armor. G2, an early disadvantage, and actually Boomich is testing them. Oh, look at this push. That is such good timing. Just look, you can still see the smoke holes from the bullets. He keeps going right here. Yeah. He's an absolute madman, but it'd be the right play. Gives him so much info to stack. Looking for more info is simple. He's playing with fire, though. He'll tuck into doors, and Flamey is being forced off. Warded off by Nico. Well, the, the key is if they can force them into a cat play... Simple now, playing with fire, shoulder spotted, even takes a jiggle on it. Trying to do damage to Nico there, but if they can force him into a standard cap play, that's where the AK is right now on Electronic. Flamey and Perfecto should be able to lock down the B tunnels. But now that mid to B smoke's come out, there's a lot more pressure. Bomb, gonna make its way back in towards upper dark. Kenny, Flamey's got 30 space. HP, B would be the right call. I wonder if Nexus kind of crunched the numbers here. Boomage has to push very shortly. Look at the time. They've had mid this whole time. They've even parked Kenny here now. The chances are the AK is still on A. Process of elimination now. Flamey trying to hold on. Perfecto. A they flopped a molly. Catch. They did. Kenny's caught one, though. It may not have too many transgressions if he can find Boomich. It's hard shots. Jiggled. Nearly. War of attrition. Running out of bullets. Three left. Two on the B site. Kenny hunted. Nico has entered into the other side of the map. They're trying to pivot A. Simple. Has kept them busy. Kenny finished off, but they can still clutch this if they could just find Simple. Oh, but Nico gets caught. There's no time now. Hunter would have to be planting now. Nah, he's not going to get it. Oh, it's in the last second. Now dueling with Perfecto. Dicking down. Dicking? Flame, he's got 30 HP. He's hunting him as well. Hunter with the last second attempt. Flame, he's the one to stop him. 15 oh, mate. points of health separating us in that round and just a fraction of a second as well. We're going to bring up Skybox here. Watch this Molly. Molly in upper tunnels. They actually throw it into the back of each other. Watch this. Oh, that's what they're standing in. It's just landed and it's forced that whole B duel to become so awkward. That's mm. seven seconds. They're denied. They can't push through it. Kenny's low on HP. So is Nico. Hunter's the only one operating with full health. So a little flub like that right there really cost G2. And we saw some of those just the other day, Alex. Remember when they were trying to cross long and the, uh, the smoke from Nexa went off the back of a teammate as well. Uh, just those little details. This is him ducking down. <laughs> <laughs> Freudian slip there, excuse me. Let's get into our sixth round of Counter-Strike, thankfully. G2 and Dust 2 should be an iconic mix. Kenny onto his signature AWP. And we're not going to be seeing any early battles on long, despite Na'Vi posturing for it, trumping some Molotovs, nades. All of that good stuff. Have the better buy here, G2. Look at this. Four AK-47s and AWP against an AK and M4, a Famous, and two MP9s. And I said that Perfecto and Boomich would be operating on those. Well, exactly that in round number six. Mid-control taken, and G2 are going to do a lot of this. Default, mid-control, force back from mid-doors, jump up Xbox, and do your standard cat pieces. But this time out mid, flamey has got a lot of trouble on the other side of that. And now Simple smoked off. He's on his lonesome. Trying to wrap the smoke. Timing could be on his side. They've already found one. Simple was flashed by Boomich, but oh. he still gets the frag. Kenny's missed. And Simple can try and punish Kenny back on the trigger. Big. They've boosted Electronic, though. I'm not sure Nico's prepared. He does glance at it. Now advancing through the smoke, he catches one. Electronic! Oh. What a shot! Nico takes his head off in a matter of milliseconds upon the first shot from Electronic. 
Damn, son. And now, look, 1,400. That's practically double eco territory. Oh, well, they might as well force buy again. They made it work previously. This time, won't be operating with anywhere near as much. But with the 1,900 loss bonus in the next, it won't be enough for them to get the buy. They could do two little investments, just a couple digs. Don't go for the armor behind it. And then you can do that in back-to-back -back rounds to stay threatening and keep that economy in check. And that looks like it is exactly the call. Bunch of deagles. There's a 5.7, P250, and a CZ. Big Victor on the cold Zara car. He knows he's under threat. Boomich wants to take him down. He knows he's inflicted great damage. Next is close. Molly will force him out. Good util usage to just force that info push to be cancelled. But is it cancelled? He's actually called upon the cavalry. Got three of them galloping into pit. You wouldn't be ready for that. You'd hope. I think they were trying to bait them in here. So Boomich might need to push and die right now because if he stays alive, uh, it's unlikely they push through the long doors. It's just a spot against pistols you never want to go. And they're fanned out correctly here, passive towards upper tunnels. They've got mid control, giving up long right now and retooling for this cap play. They've got a smoke, make that three. You can use those over towards A, Molly towards the site or Goose flashes to see them across and away we go. Yeehaw, wide open site. No better site, but they're actually pivoting. Could work even better. Bombs coming into B. Said, yeah, Flamey's been caught down to 3 HP from Hunter's long range Mac 10. This is the perfect call. Hunter into the site first. He looks for the info. Traded nicely. Jax gets them both. Yeah, Flamey did well to get one after all of that damage there, but the remaining three from Na'Vi just want to look for a gun if they can. So already pushing towards spawn will be Boomage. And here's Jax. Caught out. He's been spotted. They've seen one another right now. That information will be relayed. Hightailing it through the mid doors. Kenny and Nico. Could be quite the duo, really, when you consider just how potent these individuals are with their respective weapons. And there's Boomich's head popped on off. And Jax wants some more. Get the ace, mate. Give it a shot. Bit of shooting gallery towards spawn here. Grabs another. It's just simple to find who's also having a bit of a look. Give him the ace. Simple. Oh, three bullets. That's hey. Jax making quite an announcement. He didn't reload the entire round. Ah, that was one full 30 bullet round. Two to spare. <laughs> Needs to tidy up his office a bit there. That paperwork looks a bit like my bedroom. Yeah. That's my mind, Chad. That's my <laughs> representation of what my Just mind is. Just stacked on each other. Stacked up I, weird packs of disorganized chaos. You know how people file stuff away and yeah. like put it in that they, you know, you've got months and years and everything. I just have shoe boxes. That's how I do my yeah. uh, my paperwork, keep it all in I check. take complimentary gift bags from various esports events and I stuff papers into them. And that's how you And then I once I it's full, I just get a new complimentary bag and stuff, start stuffing. The thing is with paperwork, you never know how oh, long stop. you have to it's hold actually on to it. actually just to talk about it. They don't teach you that in school. No, they don't. And uh, they don't teach us about Ghana Strike either. Fortunately, we spend all of our free time <laughs> learning about learning it. About it. <laughs> okay, well, Na'Vi, there's a chance for G2 to level things up here. It will just be another one of these pistol investments, P250s again, you know the drill. But the smoke and flash for Perfecto and Boomich, that might be everything here because Boomich is lining this up. If simple spots... The flash I mean, will come through an electro electro electronic forces forward. Yeah, if this if this translates into a double deeg or a P250 deeg or with talking, oh, that's even Kenny better. Taking down Nico, that that's the flash is a disaster. Trying to punish on the flashbang, he actually inflicts good damage to Kenny. That could have got so much worse. Kenny's gonna be a little bit off after that one, feeling a bit of a plum. As oh, is Jax, he slips down. Apart. Lost it, well handled. The actually Molly's simple out and punishes. Lower dark. Yeah, Jax eliminated. Big shots from Perfecto. This is getting a bit of a mess now. If Flamey gets one here, they're gonna be so distracted. Jump. Don't forget, Kenny was brought so low that a jump could convert. Hunt is checking it for him. Nice teamwork. Oh, if that was one second earlier, the flush would have been perfect. Flamey may have even got a double, but now Perfecto probably just wanting to hold on to this AK. Any more financial damage he can do is good, but the bank has already started to be built right now for G2, so the ramifications won't be immediately felt. It'll be further down the line. Dad, let's do a quick um, PSA for our Counter-Strike friends that are sure. watching. Uh, as a professional or an ex-professional player, yes. when you have an enemy in your crosshair and a teammate in front of you, shoot. 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 100% of the time. Shoot. 100%. If you if you kill your teammate and you know you it get the enemy as well, it could just be the double well, kill. You know, yeah. it could be the borrow up double. It could be, 
Uh, so there's, there's pull a, the trigger. There's a couple of. There's obviously you don't want to kill your teammate, but if it's the difference between the enemy killing two of you and you killing your teammate and trading, that's probably the better way to go about things. Looks like they took it on the chin there. Uh, good to see that the uh, morale still high in the camp, and understandably so, as they've managed to close this gap. It was opened up with the Navi 3-0. As the dust settles here on dust, nine four four. You can see Perfecto into the Famous here. He wants that extra utility right now, and for good reason. He's solo long. Look at this. This is such an odd play right now from Navi. They boosted one short. They've got two around middle, one off towards B, and one long. And long's even fallen back to side already. They really want to fight for this mid control. Yeah, but this time Jack's got a different flavor to his B presence. He's actually thrown an early B one, which has pulled Simple out of middle. They've pulled that orper towards B. Electronics in a prime position to swing onto Nico. I don't think anyone's ready for this. Oh, with the flashbang as well. Twice Nico's been taken down. Oh, good swing from Hunter. Counter aggression. Kenny vulnerable to Vumich. It's going to be his head visible, but he has got his eye pressed to the scope. And so another frag goes his way. High flash for himself. Simple didn't catch it. Smokes towards the A site. It's completely undefended. The last two players just looking to hold on to what they've invested. This will just be the methodical finish, five to four. At least Navi look like they have a game plan to try and unravel these constant cat takes. So they were really wanting to set up a bit more of a pincer on middle. It looked to me, Simple was going to use that AWP to slow them down initially. That meant electronic, cat and yeah, it, yeah. electronic playing close cat. And then that was Boomich who swung over to help Simple towards middle. And and it was clear what, they're in, what their plan was, but the frags just didn't fall in their favor there. Perfecto must have just used his spawn to lock down long and Flamey the same towards B. But all in all, it will now be five on the scoreboard for G2 Esports. Now remember, this is their map pick. A lot of pressure on this one. We want to see how they're starting off. And great signs from Nico early. Sure, he's died six. Sure, he's copped a or bullet in the back of the head from Kenny, but has had some impact. Hunter is one of those names now who I feel may get dwarfed within the team until they all start standing and feeling comfortable. He actually has more kills than Nico right now, and both of which the cousins, if you're unfamiliar with the Kovaches. Great picture circulating Twitter recently as well. If you haven't seen it, it's them two in a cyber cafe looking like 12 years old. Really worth a, a look. And to see them united now, you know, they've gone their own independent paths and to be both united under a, a, a world-class organization with world-class salaries and to be doing it, living that dream together. I think it's, it's beautiful if it can work. And while sitting here in the semi-finals, it certainly is indicative of that. We're getting into a round that doesn't favor Na'Vi, saved an M4 and an AWP. Kenny wants to bring a bit of pain right to the opening stages, evades the flash, hoping to catch Perfecto or Boomich, and oh. doesn't quite pull the trigger in time. Instead, he'll just have to accept that 50 points of damage dealt. Nico with a Molotov for Simple's position. Doesn't choose to use it just yet. A very passive player right now from G2. You can see how deep they are back towards Catwalk. Haven't gone for any mid look-ins. As soon as that gets smoked, they're able to start pushing forward, knowing that the AWP that was saved won't get any cheap and easy kills. Nico's lined up the molly for short. That'll force Simple back. Pressure on now. Color by number Counter-Strike here, doing it by the book, the ABC. And getting, you get to see the product of it, right? Now, G2 know without risking anyone's life that short is clear. Two Molotovs is all it took. You've guaranteed no one's playing on that little box jiggle. You've got short control. They don't have the information anymore. And then it becomes either smoke or mirrors. Do you follow these smokes you're throwing or do you go somewhere else? The bomb is on Nexa, top of middle. This is perfect. They've cut off the rotation from A right now. Simple oh, can't get involved in the mix of this. This is cool. I like it. They have to come through mid. It's all on Flamey. Electronic spots the barrel, knows he's got his days are numbered. It will be Flamey's M4. What are you made of, my man? Kenny's knocked him down. Looking for Boomich's flank. It's not going to be easy for Kenny. Overwhelmed. The jumping pistol was a little too much, and now an AWP has been retrieved. They need to deal with Hunter. Wait, yeah. they have. He's dealt with. Holding the push. Boomish could get another rifle here. Quick adjustment. Good frag. They're closing the gap, actually. Simple wants this. He wants to have something to say. He's walking into the site now. Jack's down to half. If they can find Nexa, they've got so much time to make a round out of this. And Perfecto hits the shot. Nexa, one-on-one, -on -one, and he can't do it. Perfecto cannot pull the trigger. Six for G2. Well played by Nexa in the end. He weathers the storm. He's got max money to celebrate that one. And it's always important to be seeing Nexa with some early frags. Sometimes can be a little bit Quiet as of late. Yeah, simple wins that duel, they win the round. You can see Perfecto having full faith that that would be drawn out. That fight, he gets the kill on the tunnels player. All Simple had to do 
was hit that shot, but it's never just that easy. The Vile come back out. Now V now operating with no defuse kit. Not ideal, but they've got full utility across the board. Simple back onto the AWP, even an org for Flamey. This might be the pounce long again. Molly and go. And a boom, it's double with one HP to spare. Nico's not interested, knows nades will follow. That approach has really found it. Okay, that's a big miss. Yeah, Hunter's just ran straight into Simple's crosshair as well. So we've seen Kenny S and Nico make a 2v4. Threatening, punishing. Maybe Kenny S finding Simple is the start of another. There's someone so close though. I think Flamey's positioning could have the element of surprise. He turns the flash. Yeah, he had a good chance there. Well, only one contribution from Kenny. Nico crawling, hunting. Electronic, it's a pinpoint size tap. He's got him down to 67, a panic smoke. Nico looking for Electronic's position. He knows he's going to be wrapped around. The smoke is delayed so perfectly. Electronic can completely reposition. He's actually hunted him. The smoke really did change the entire duel. They won't go for the double orb. They'll maintain the AK instead and org as well for Flamey. Oh, that chance from Kenny could have made the round out of it, but it was Boomich that really... And Chad, you kind of started started a sentence you weren't able to finish, but were you about to talk about the failures on long from Yeah, G2? in the last couple of days when we've watched G2's Dust 2, they've tried that maneuver and it hasn't worked at all. It's just being found out, and I think that teams are well and truly ready for that type of approach. So maybe having to opt in a little bit different. Let's play a game as well. When we do get Na'Vi's T side, let's compare how they're taking long. Let's see if there's a... normally. Well, precisely, but I want to see what's missing. What's the difference? I, do, I don't think it's necessarily down to the CT stopping them with players and utility. There's one of the problems with Dust 2, and uh, normally we don't get to see it at home, is uh, the spawns that are being offered up for the Ts. So that's one of the factors. And we, we normally, you know, we're showing you replays or we're, we're going through the scoreboard. The T spawns on a map like Dust 2, they will really determine what is available for a T side of team to pull off. Yeah, even the CT spawns are important on Dust 2. Yeah, especially when it comes to if locking down long. If you're a long player and you're constantly getting B spawns, you, you can't contribute in the same way. You have to play a little bit more spawn based. But we've seen this boost a few times and we're seeing it again. Simple gets to be on perched up. One's past his line of sight. I think Hunter fancies it, you know. It's left eye. It shouldn't really ever go Hunter's way. Oh, good stuff. Not the rebounds off of Hunter's face and. Nico scoops up his cousin's flashbang for the rest of this round. They look to be. It's worked before. Nico trying to sell the mid. And Flamey has a great weapon for this job. Look at his crosshair placement. That's for the crouch of Jax. Here they come. Oh, so much damage. Very good off the break. Jax flash pushing in. Nexa doesn't blink, doesn't hesitate. He'll be planting off of that. That all came down to timing. Flamey uh, was some very, very terrible timing right there on the quick change. Just didn't think they were pushing at that juncture. As soon as he changes, they come out. And that's Counter-Strike timing in a nutshell. You've all felt it at home when you're playing the game. You've been watching an angle for 30 seconds. You're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting. Oh, I'm going to pull out an aid. Next minute, they swing. And your monitor cops a bit of a jab. I'm sure Flamey's going to be extremely frustrated about that one because Simple set them up with a nice opening. But that's all they're going to get in this round. It's going to be the seventh for G2 now. It's labored, they're getting across the line here, but that was just bullying their way in on a timing. And now that they've had quite the prevalence towards the B side, there's been a few finishes over there. We might see the mix up from Na'Vi back to more of a 2-1-2 two, two setup, simple floating around middle to be a bit of a drama, lockdown long, and then player floating towards A. Maybe even an AWP going forward for Flamey. The org didn't work, that'd be the upgrade from that point onwards as guns can be purchased on in, but Na'Vi taking a much needed timeout. G2 just one round away from securing the win in the half. Just need that eight round mark. <laughs> I love looking at Electronic's uh, room. There's always something new in the background. I swear, in the yeah, he's, I, th I think he every week goes to the local florist and fills that vase with what he believes. New flowers. Yeah. yeah, he's like, okay, I'm going to go for the chrysanthemums this month. He's got some Navi merch or paraphernalia up in the background there. Certainly has. A couple of bits and bobs. I used to send keyboard as electronic, man. That's so cool. All right, well, tonight wow. when we play, I'll see how many kills you get. I really have. I've got a good feeling today. The fact that we finish at a time when I can actually still function and think, that's that's a good sign for the matchmaking games tonight. Okay, well, we need some good signs for Na'Vi here. Three more rounds left within this first half. And we get back underway with a big one. Buys come in. I haven't seen any door action damage, nothing. There are some players that I've, I've seen whole halves where they've become a threat through those doors. Kenny today has not been able to punish any of those V crosses. Of course, pulling out a smoke early for that cross. 
the B. Util exchange onto short. It is the B. We saw how close it got before, but there's a different pace to this, it seems. Nexa, is he flashing Jax through the smoke? With Kenny's flash as well? Oh, perfecto. Jax was not looking. Oh, and it's a massacre. Flamey's actually got them both. This B defense has worked wonders for Na'Vi. Only Kenny. Electronics rotated in. They need to find another. Electronic, the element of surprise. He snuck in. And now double peaked from the window as well. Kenny baits the shot, checks it. Uh, they're gonna get dicey here if Simple re-peaks. He dodges the shot. Kenny's playing some masterful counter-strike here. Simple yet to go down. Peaks him eventually. War of attrition one. Na'Vi take themselves a sixth round. It's thanks to Flamey. Ooh, double orbs come out as well. So Boomich has scooped up a secondary for Flamey over towards that B site. Guns will be dropped across and the buy will be looking good for Na'Vi as they continue forward here. But this one is very, very close. And this is how it tends to go for Na'Vi games until they get to the second half and then they really just stretch their legs. I'm not quite sure what the phenomenon is, but the first halves that they play always seem to be quite close and competitive. Nine, six, eight, sevens. And then they just start running away with games. But Dust2 against an opponent like G2 shouldn't be easy. Good flashes. Kenny again forced back off long. Molly from Pumich, he's got a lot on his plate. And this is that setup they were doing before. One boosted cat, one towards long. Simple's actually playing Ooh, cat. Look at this, a boost versus a boost. And I'm sure Nico would get some info off that. Something gets spotted there. They're going for the jump peak. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. We haven't seen G2 go for too many of their standard cat executes. They've actually been looking a little bit looser. More leans towards B. Obviously, we've seen a few of those long attempts that have not worked out as they would have planned. Then is, in the I middle, haven't seen this looser. stance from them before. Like three at the top of middle. It implies it could even be a late long. Okay, they're going up cat on the smoke. That works too. Quick underhand. Your Dren Ooh, smoke. They are going back towards long. Okay, they really don't want to give any picks away to Simple here, knowing that he's probably in float with that AWP. So back towards long with four of them. All the pressure Boomich will be on Boomich. just Boomich. descended pit, so... He has no nades for this. If they go dry, they won't. Simple smoke on the corner. So they're going to fully take control. But this is very, very late. 40 seconds. Simple will be there to support him. If he's actually running, oh, flashing. Simple wants to fight. He does not want them to have this for free. And it's far from free. He's already taken down Jax. Next up, one simple, another now tucking into the site. He knows he's done the damage. It's Nico from short. He has to find, and wow, Nico's found him. It's electronic, though, on the site. 20 seconds as Hunter advances. Kenny's actually hit the wall bang. Softens him up. Two wall bangs. Electronic lives to tell the tale. They don't have time for this. Perfecto's holding the cross. The flash is good. Kenny's doing everything he can to support. Nine, Hunter spots him. You haven't got time, Hunter. You haven't got time, bro. Oof, just stalled out there. Great stuff from Na'Vi to slow down that pace. Kenny taking his time looking Dude. for that shot through the box. But yeah, it was... Sim but Simple coming down long was not what I was expecting, you know? Like, he was... I thought he was dead. He's short. But as soon as Boomich must have said enough to convince him that he needs to be there fast, and he did get there fast enough. You can see the flash assist from Simple on Boomich's frag, followed by an AWP kill of his own design. Two wall bangs, by the way. Yeah. Scratching his head. Kenny's not so sure how Electronic is not dead, but a that's a land nice. I just saw a land nice come out of Simple's mouth. Yeah, I want to see Na'Vi get fired up in the same way we've seen some of these teams over the last few days. Obviously, the Australia's first Na'Vi game we heard from Device in that post-game interview. That game was a pretty intense one for them. Yesterday, Vitality Heroic. We had every player on both teams screaming, getting fired up. The boot camp space for Vitality there. The coaching staff in the background, even Shocks watching on the third map as they were able to pull that one away. I want that same level of intensity out of Na'Vi. We know they've had their online woes and one way to get that going is to get pumped up in the server. Leading the charge is the two big boys, Electronic and Simple. 12 for Electronic, 11 for Simple. They're the stars of the show. Hunter with 12. Nico only with nine kills, but it's been quite an even spread for both teams, really. Nobody lacking behind. There's no omissions. No, we're getting everything we, uh, we would have expected to start this semi-final off. Simple. Challenged, and Molly is enough to deter. Umich and his aggression. Free fires on the shadow advantage, but ducked under. And this is the first time we've actually seen an early Boomich death. This forces Simple to acknowledge Long. His flashes do indicate that there's someone filling the gap. You can see Jack's hesitant to take any further action until that half, or rather that long wall smoke is there. Flash for the peak. Wait 
waiting for it. Perfect. And to flash and frag. This is not flash electronic in. Solving them. Oof. They're backing off. Yeah, but Nico's already slipped in there. Oh, 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 what a shot onto electronic simple still in limbo. Trapped between a rock and a hard place. Perfecto, a crucial frag onto Hunter, puts Nectar on notice, needs oh, to win that duel, Kenny. Does so with the Glock, another head, he has to do it with the pistol. Oh, damn, he's doing it with the pistol. I mean, no. Two on the Glock from Kenny S, gives them the slightest advantage. It's 8-7. Kenny S only needs the sidearm. We'll be right back with your second half. RVG2, Battle on Dust 2. Couldn't be closer. Eight to seven. A single round separates them as we swap sides. It will be now G2 on the right-hand side with the defense. Left-hand side of your screens features Nartus Vincere. Both ferocious beasts in the server. Very much the cream of the Counter-Strike crop, and there's a whole lot of us that are battling to be there. Now starting this pistol round off. Na'Vi have the edge according to GG.bet. Simple taking a P250 and armor for long info early, and we'll be taking close attention to how they do Fight. so. Kenny's lost his jewel. He goes for an aggressive maneuver for info. Upper tunnels is pushing now as well. Yeah, and Electronic could be in a position to do something with it. Smoke's still there. That's the frag Nico is waiting for, and they've even caught Electronic. Big switch of the advantage now. They have the A site. 
There's a kit on Nexa with two flashes. They're almost playing retake here. It was, this is nuts from Simple. He's not playing the standard long position. He's just actually getting up close and personal. If they don't come through CT spawn, he is going to be absolutely useless. They're all coming up short. He's going to, what, have an option to jump? That's about it. Still dependent on a CT push. Hunter catching some flak and hard shots for Simple to hit. Check CT. He has to contribute, trying to find an angle. They're swinging in now. Good shots. It's all CTs. It's all blue on brown. And they'll have it. They'll have the defuse. They'll take the pistol. That extending their lead. Nine to seven. And that's not too shabby. Playing retake A on a pistol round, eh? Yeah, they went for that clear indication to lock down middle and dark. Three bodies thrown at Electronic there. Gets away with only one. And then you can just see Perfecto and Boomich. It's so difficult for them to do anything in that crossfire. The P250 was the only long range pistol they were rocking in a round like that. And because Simple wasn't playing towards long, he didn't even get to use that range advantage or at least the weapon that's designed to level the playing field as far as the range is concerned. So it will just be this partial investment, actually not even that, just some pistols upgraded here from Na'Vi. Working with very little, Boomich hasn't opted in with a pistol, just a flash. And they need to hope in a similar way that G2 have made it work in the past with Nico on a Deagle, that Simple can go around and find them an opening and, and hopefully that's enough to snowball a bit of a round here. But here they oh, go, Chad, Simple, I mean, Nico. Got some analysis. Oh, maybe Simple is going to get struggled by Nico. Brings him down low and actually is going to dump the nade. So they waited that one out nicely. But yeah, um, that? Mr. Richardson, my father's decided he d he's voted for Na'Vi. So okay. Uh, actually, we've got an extra vote on the GT dot bet. He believes Na'Vi have got this one in the bag. We'll see. It's the first time I think he's ever actually watched a game of Counter-Strike. Well, like many other Na'Vi fans out there, might have his heart broken today. <laughs> yep, that hurts. That sucks. Ouch, perfecto. Give him the bish and the bosh. Simple fancies his chances. He's going oh, 1v2 into the B site with his Desert Eagle. I think he's going to cancel his plans as the smoke blooms. They do gather short and, well, the setup is perfect, right? Nico is going to play for the... Players called across. Once Kenny misses his shot, Nico's there responsible to catch them. There we have it. Perfect. Taking contact at the same time. One after the other. They fall. Missing his shots. Nico vulnerable, but simple. Thrust into a impossible scenario. Okay. Which is its logical conclusion. G210, RV7. So check out these spawns right now. It's pretty decent for long here on RV. And will they just continue with the tried and tested long takes? Their approach, they'll drop a molly. Uh, smoke for the molly on the doors, but they'll do it on the run. They'll continue to throw waterfall flashes over to get them out towards the blue bin and pit. And that's if they go all in towards long. Simple right now isn't looking in that direction. He's actually going to be taking the bomb over towards B. So we'll be on the back of Electronic here and away he goes. Is this just for a pick or is this a bit more of a commitment? Drops a flash. They're already past his line of sight there, so think better of this. That's that uh, smoke on the pole, Chad. That's right. Yeah, we've highlighted me about that. that a few times. Can we times. just free cam it? Look at it. It's still on us two there. It's all right. We can, we can bring it up. Maybe it can come uh, in our next little skybox. But I just know, yeah, it was perfect because actually it, as he took that long fight, Nico's jump it while flashed perfectly, guys, by the corner of the smoke. Oh, dear, Jax. He is freaking out, overwhelmed, finally actually stabilizes into the frag. And there's so much damage done. Hunter's in a good stead to catch him, but they're using that smoke against him, catching him now, traded as Perfecto arrives from mid. Electronic is the key scalp, and he's so well hidden. Oh, what a position. Catches Nico. Nexa. Next on the chopping block. He peeks out, as does Simple. The frags all go Na'Vi's way, and that's a successful B-take. That's Na'Vi's first two round on the board. Yeah, good stuff from them right there, and they needed to bounce back early. You can just see G2 are operating with their rounds, uh, their guns from round number two, so a bunch of famas in the mix. The scout for Kenny, it wasn't the most potent of buys. Tend to call that a bit of a bonus round, but because the buy is coming in run, one round earlier than what we had experienced before this money change, uh, it means that the cash going into this next round of play, it's not going to be fruitful by any means. Uh. Operating around that, you know, they were in the, in the high end of the threes, but you want to be in the mid end of the fours to be guaranteeing a buy. And especially wanting an AWP player like Kenny, he needs even that much more cash. So Nico looking for one, he's just on his own, sent on out here. Nexa is coming to help. Fluffing the lines, Perfecto eventually makes the shot. But these are the type of deaths that Na'Vi, they can't lose early, and Simple's even found another. So that's the short pressure dealt with. And 
that's easy as you like. So whittling oh, these it down are all once the, these at are a time. The dream frags. Yeah, just walk into my crosshair and I'll the shoot teammates you. have killed two, so you know the CTs are going to push. You just have to sit still. I wonder if we do see more Navi long rushes if they won't even bother dumping that corner smoke because we have highlighted in the past that smoke from G2 can be used against them to help split up long and go for different angles of picks. I think it was Chris J who used it against them as Electronic will punish oh. Kenny. And all in all, it's a nice clean one for Navi as the scoreline gets one closer. 10 to 9 in favor of G2. Round number 20 about to get underway and all those goodies for G2 are going to be purchased on in. Kenny with the AWP. Nades flashes, mollies and smokes. And the extra equipment, even the diffuse kits. Well, I say diffuse kits, there hasn't been one purchase. So there is a problem if we find ourselves in a post-plant situation, saving very prevalent on a map like Dust2 as it is. It's gonna be even more difficult to go for those retakes. So a timeout called, and this is a very important juncture of the game. If G2 lose this one, they will be down to the pistols again. Their lost bonus hasn't had an opportunity to build. So it will be a force or a save. And they'll be, uh, feeling the wrath of that CT side economy, the fact that things cost just that little bit more. The pensive music plays. I'm sure Malik getting on the mic. There he is. Lots to say here. This could be a make or break round. Coach Blade, of course, for those that haven't seen him on the video. The voice behind Na'Vi and what has been the voice behind CIS presence in Counter-Strike, especially at Mages for as long Ever. as I can remember. Different look, same smoke. No one charging out initially from Na'Vi. They do throw the util, but taking early space as default should. Taking the tons, Molly short. Ooh, Navi wow, too. that is quite the off angle, Jax. I'm sure that would uh, that would certainly give you one or two from the org. It's going to have to quite the hard swing to clear that as well. Yeah. But Navi are going through their paces with a default in similar fashion to how G2 was doing it. And we know that they have the same executes, maybe differently refined. There you go. You get a cheeky look at that angle. Come around. You're definitely not looking that deep on pit. You, you might you even check have a blue bin at that two. point. So very open to flashes, but they're hedging over towards A. And we can see that because Nico has been boosted towards spawn. Just Hunter over towards the B bomb site on his lonesome. Kenny has support within Nexa, who's in CT right now, and Jack's towards long. But look at this. Bimich is just lurking out, using the one way. Kenny needs to be careful if he repicks that dropping into spawn very quick. It's been found out. Nice. That's really strong. Well, Jax is in T spawn. Kenny's caught electronic on the advance as well. Oh, Kenny's made this round look easy. They aren't going to lose a single man. Pulls the trigger onto simple. Just perfecto left. Corpse is littering the catwalk. Now with 20 seconds left, perfecto does need to either start doing damage and die. Oh, that's exactly what he wanted to do. Takes Nico, puts him on his bottom. 1400 loss bonus here. So, Hector going down. Integral with nine seconds to spare. The key to that round right there was Jack's pushing long and finding Flamey for free. I don't think he was even looking in no man's land over towards middle. And that kind of a push was only made possible by that four man lean of, G of G2. They want to kind of bait them in. So, if Jack's goes long and he dies, there's more players to plug that gap. He had a lot of information to force them into that short or mid to B play and just locked on out. So, simple as you like. And away we go back into play 11 to 9 now. G2. Two round advantage here, aggressive cat. Nico on a one man mission again. Just having someone you can send out so comfortably and confidently just to look for damage and hold off territory knowing he won't overcommit or go down without a fight. And that's a good nade early. Electronic down to 66. We're stalling out again in these standard default maneuvers. Mid control and short control first on the docket. That's just more of the same here. We haven't seen the Navi long rushes. We'll need to be keeping our eyes on those spawns. Kenny's going hunting here, he's going searching. This is everything. About to have a clash on Cat. Kenny's playing with fire. There's so many. He gets simple. Nico, oh, he comes alive. Kenny gets the time to bolt and re -peak. And that's quite the hold. Quite an aggressive one from Kenny and Nico. And what a pairing. I can't believe I'm sitting here in the year 2020 saying Kenny and Nico holding short. They didn't take their short control after throwing their Molotovs there, Na'Vi. So they were kind of oh, asking for that. Great stuff from Hunter. He actually manages to completely seal the deal. Taps away at one. I think he practically confirms Flamey's position or Flamey confirms it for him as he puts lead in the head. 
Drop of the smoke. Flame, he's got the bomb on his back. He will be able to at least make a round out of this. He's got a lot of space towards the B tons. It is being taken from him as Nexa confirms nothing. Ooh, that's not fun. Flamey nice. caught through the smoke, and Jax will finish dead. it off very neat and tidy. Look they were bullied that. out of that, yeah. So it, that was all Nico, right? Early damage to Electronic at the start of the round. Then as soon as they molly Cat, he waits till it transpires. He mollies his own. That pushes them back. And then they're able to set up that aggressive hold and just get a bunch of multi -tills. This is going to get really hard for Na'Vi now, not only because of the finances, but because you have got Hunter, Jax, and Nico with AK-47s. Oh, These boys have got first bullet accuracy to dream of. These boys have got crosshair placement. They will be having their field day with that T-weaponry. And you've got it on three of their most prominent stars. I say that as it's chugged over to Nexa. He'll be given the luxury. It's probably more positionally determined than it is independently. And Na'Vi down to the scraps. So do they just concede themselves a, a 13th here? They have to, yeah. And then stare down the barrel of what will have to be quite the sterling comeback on this T side. Two rounds posted so far in the six we've seen. It's only 2,400 for them in the next round as well, which means the AWP very unlikely unless a bucket load of kills or a bomb goes down. It's see simple there. Hunter on the SMG. I'm fine with it. <laughs> fine with it. <laughs> Maybe he's going to go for it's a lower totally tunnel cool. push or something. He might go for something a little bit risky here, right? So Hunter, yeah, there we go. He's taking a push with it. Okay. So he's taking a risk knowing that they're likely up against these pistols. Look how much space he's going to take. That's actually lovely. Perfecto may even have his knife out. It's Glock for UMP. $600 in the Hunter bank account, and he's continuing to sweep through, get that information. It does mean that KMES doesn't have to get overrun by five pistols and flashbangs. Instead, they get that info for free. They take it by force. There is electronic lingering out T-tunnels, and if I get shot in the back of the head, oh, I'm mad. I'm mad as hell. It's a good start. It, it is, it's especially. Easy, Boomich is coming. Jax might want to get his ass back to B. Get out of there, Jax! Get out of there now! They're swinging on him. They really wanted to pressure him. The smoke is enough. Okay. Whew. Squeaky bum time for Jax, but round is no longer a threat. I think simple behind this cat smoke, if he lurks up A and tries to go for a one-on-one -on -one duel with Kenny, that could be the round. He takes Kenny down, we're on. He gets silenced, there's just going to be three players going to fall with a bit of a whimper. Sound cues made by Boomich. There's a flash to set up simple if he wants it, or they could be looking to retool for this mid to B. And the fact that they have taken Hunter out early means that they know that B is probably weak. It is just Jax tucked in towards the back of the site now, AK and a flash. And they haven't sent simple out to try and take this duel with Kenny. Isolated completely. Jax oh, is on his no. own. He needs to get two. It, spell, it smells like a retake. It smells like one frag for Jax and then traded. Smoke towards doors and flashes from Boomer. This good is here. important for Jax. He needs to do a lot. Fanning around with his nades. Missing his shot. They're closing the gap already. Two swinging on him. Needs a second. Oh, he couldn't quite finish it off. Flamey brought down low, but they advance. They do not want to give this way to Na'Vi. And Simple has been spotted. Closing the gap. Jumps back across into smoke. The spray is close. Simple brought down to 30. Nico with nine bullets in the chamber. Kenny, cautious of middle. Nexa will take that responsibility. They advance. Two kits. They've got plenty of time. Pins pulled. Traded. Flamey on the site. He has the AK-47, but he's gone down to Kenny. Just boom it now. And Nexa spotted him. He controls the spray. And Kenny brings out the knife. All right, then. 1,500 and a successful clutch for G2. But that got way too close for comfort. Yeah, that was a very, very tight round. Just the flashes to work with on that retake. But they come good. Hoo-wee. It was Kenny actually hitting that shot into Flamey that kind of relieved the pressure. Saying that as Boomich actually managed to win it out on that first duel in the 1v2. G2 CT side have 13 now, Chadney. Yeah, this is looking good for them to close. And we do move on to train. And that's where we start to heavily favor Na'Vi into map number two. But if G2 have been working on this, aware it's a weakness, we want to keep our eyes on their CT defense of things being swung around. But I'm sure Na'Vi have one or two more things to say here in this matchup. They... Good at operating under pressure. They can make scrappy rounds like this very, very tight. And if they're able to pull one off, if they're able to pick one away from G2, then they can start getting on top of this game. But we haven't seen anything crazy convincing just yet. Let's take a look. Another timeout taken. We're back underway. No long spawns right now for Na'Vi. So problematic. If they wanted to go fast, if they wanted to try and twist the screws on G2's long hold, they cannot do so. Boomage might try and trundle down middle quite quickly if they want to go for fast cat control, but they need to mix something up, Na'Vi. Those are the most unforgiving spawns for a Na'Vi that wanted to do something and take some initiative, find a first blood. It won't be through long. Maybe doors. Yeah, no. Already too safely across. 
See how G2 are throwing the mid-door smoke again? So this is the same as what we highlighted with FaZe just the other day. Most teams would drop that smoke off a CT box and use that to cross through. Well, G2 are intentionally smoking the doors so that the T's cannot barrel down mid and push out to the other side for free. Boomich is still going to get it within the early stages, but it has slowed that approach. Normally, they'd be out there right. very, very early. It means you can have early presence on the sites. Eco, what are you up to? Wow, he's actually gotten away with it. Pushes into electronic as the smoke fades and then just evaporates, disappears. Kenny takes his place and pre-aiming is simple. Ooh, that's enough from Kenny. That's more than he bargained for. Catches a glimpse of someone. Is it the enemy orper? T-side orping from simple. They're kind of counting on him finding another hunt. Looks like they wanted to go for an A execute. They just wanted early cat control, and now they're going to set up for that. But doing it with only one smoke, three flashes, and two molotovs, Kenny's going to have an easy time of this. They have to pick which smoke. Do we want the bridge smoke, or do we want the avant-garde smoke? Gone for CT. Yeah, that's not even one of the two options I listed. So out they go. Kenny's going to just pluck them here. Yeah, Boomich swinging from elevator is a promising prospect. Good flash. Very good flash. Kenny's not down, but they have the sight. It'll be another retake for the CTs. Na'Vi cannot get contained towards Catwalk here. They need to play in transition. And Boomish with a great kill. Oh. Almost two. Boomish oh. onto Nico. Not going to land the shots. Nico, Nico gets the trade. Living. That could be the difference. Perfecto needs the duel now. He's won it out. Takes a very heavy price. Down to just 10% health. Simple holding this long, tight line. He's even got a Molotov to slow the aggress. Nexa needing to hit these shots. He's flubbed his lines a little. Crossing now towards the ramp. Kenny looking for a fight. Simple's found it. Perfecto dunked. Still a two-on-two, two, favoring Na'Vi heavily here. They haven't got bodies on the site. And Kenny, losing his teammate Nico, really does seal the deal. Just trying to stop Simple's retreat, and he does manage to do so. Flaming Flaming will be on all retrieval. I think the nade, uh, rather the bomb explosion, will do him some favors. They can't afford one, so this is actually very important. Where's it going to go? Where did it go? I think it just hit the little wooden barrel there on the uh, right okay. and just stayed put. So, ooh, he's not going to get it. That is problems right now. Na'Vi can... Oh, Flamey could drop one, but no utility. Uh, this, first. this was the frag that really slowed him down, and the fact that he doesn't go down to that double. Cousins practically lined up for Boomich. Good stuff from Na'Vi, though. They put themselves back into contention. That was the round they needed to prove to us and prove to themselves. Flamey's so selfless there. Yeah. No utility for him. He, he dropped does. the AWP for simple, so he needs to show up again with a couple of kills. 17 for him now. Pressure towards longer, Lil on Boomich, and he's out. So this is good information early. Na'Vi have a chance to break the bank here. They win this round. We might see things leveled up. Might be the Na'Vi long finish. Oh, here we go. The classic play. Yeah, it feels like it. They got that long control so early and without any util that this is where they can just basically press pause. Take a look at this. Four players are going to sit long for a while now. Simple setup and pit. But Kenny is nowhere near giving them the fight instead of responding to that long control. They push middle. Keep your eyes on the Molotovs on Nico and Nexa right now. They're going to be integral if we get late round. If we're sub 30 seconds when this cross comes in, those two Molotovs can crowd control the site and deny the plant. But Nico's already lobbed one out, and now it's just down to Nexa with the Molly. There's a couple of HEs in the mix that may be able to make this work. Yeah, different flavor to this one, or at least it looked like it, but the Util... Burning, burning. Not quite. Nico finding just a little safe haven over that, and that's a big duel. He actually dinks up Flamey. Trying to finish him with the nade. One extra damage added to the list, but now from long. Here it comes. It'll be cross smokes and a lot of fights. Kenny, what's your plan? A defensive smoke or a peek into simple. Oh, that's perfect. The supporting Fighting. cast is gone. He can re-peek. He misses his shot. Electronic needs another. He's so low. Nexa can finish off the job with the FAMAS and Boomich is Galil as well. Flamey's has gone. Hunter finishes the job. Oh, G2 handled. sees 14. Kenny's frag. Taking simple out of the equation as they advance was huge. And that was... The investment of Flamey gone down the drain. 14 found. Next to get some credit as well. Impact player of round 24. And G2's pick getting closer and closer to realizing in their favor. Yeah, big questions here for Na'Vi. Looks like they're not going to invest on this. I'm surprised. Okay, G2 doing them a favor. This gives them a chance to talk this through. The money isn't good for a Na'Vi buy, but as we take a look at these highlights, the key to denying this long cross was fighting. Most teams would just give it up and try and kill them on the ramp and take those kind of a fight. But Kenny, by re-peaking, he slows this down. He gets them a nice little advantage. And at that point, they're just able to isolate a couple of jewels. So G2 staying active with their stars, using their firepower to their advantage. Not playing this one late, taking the fight. And Na'Vi, will they kind of opting in with a little purchase on simple. It will be the scout. 
2400 in the next round. Need to make sure that they leave around 2k so they can get a buy with some AKs and utility behind it going forward. But G2 are looking good to close at this juncture. Round number 25, 14 to 10. It does feel like a G2 map. They have been playing well. They are down to a couple of Famuses here. Next to, with a third one just picked up off the spawn. No AWP either. So Na'Vi, this is a round. If you can grab another three kills, keep this very, very interesting. Keep it very, very tight. It can still keep the pressure on. It's not over just yet for G2. Not out of the woods. It's be one of those slower approaches. And in a round like this, you want to let the scout work. You want to allow Simple just to go wherever he needs. If he wants you to jump out and bait, make some extra noise, put your body on the line, you need to do it. He's the only gun into this round. Perfecto's P250 might be activated if Simple can hit a couple of tags, but because of the ranges of Dust2, he needs to hope the fights come to him. Just dissuading there with some utility smoke towards the doors, nade over the top. And baiting out utility is good as well, but uh, for Na'Vi at this point of the game, the fact that they're likely to be 15 rounds down. Yeah, I, I think baiting out utility loses its, its shine. Right now it will be just straight financial damage. Once they get rid of all the mollies, which they have done, now Simple can try and work a couple of picks here. The worst case scenario is that nade from Kenny getting dunked on his head, but if he can find this fight with Nico, it's a good start. Oh, very oh. standard stuff. Oh, Look at that. Yeah. I kind of liked watching that from the T perspective, though. You could see how brutal that went from nothing to everything. Match point, at least here on Dust 2. Train is Na'Vi's pick. Shooting gallery for Kenny and Nico. Have a couple of long spawns here. Maybe they want to give it a crack. Ooh, yeah, we haven't seen the uh, spawn gods be too kind to Na'Vi in the past, but it seems like those with the spawns yeah. have actually headed towards B-Tons. Okay, so they're just opting for a default finish here on the potential final round of play. Bomb towards back of Cat, three towards the tunnels, and even a push, look at this. Whoa, Electronic was not ready for that, and neither was I. Jax has got another as well, and they disappear. Mission accomplished. Heavy frags found, two to be specific. Simple's trying to claw one back. He might on the jiggle. And he wants to take space as well. He gets punished for that. This is it. They just tried to be heroes. Tried to take rounds into his own hands and it's just fallen flat. Great stuff from G2 looking to collect their map pick here against Na'Vi and really have proved their, their value, through, proved their capability. This series will be competitive and Train admittedly was a very different kettle of fish when we last saw G2 play it. Not expecting a team to have a seven map pool with two weeks practice, but I'm not expecting Boomish to win a one on four either. Yeah. He's about to get swung on by two. He's dead. Sorted. G2 taking it. That's their map. And we'll be starting our conversation, not only breaking down how they picked it up, but also preparing ourselves for Narvi's turf. Train up next.